heroes and heroines of all ages. When the world tells you to get a life, you're always welcome at the 1UP Block. My name is Dan the Man, your host, and welcome to Something a Little Strange. If you're a fan of, uh, you, okay, let me start that over. I got kind of got mixed up. I just got, I just failed a recording, and now I'm just kind of all over the place, but... I am a fan of Mega Man, you guys know this, and I am, I guess I'm kind of a fan of My Little Pony as well, like, it's one of those shows where I would watch it if I had a, like, if I had a daughter who liked the show, I would sit and watch it with her and enjoy it, if you know what I mean, is that like a proper way to say what my relationship with the show is? Uh, it's a good show, it's a good, it's good for kids, you can watch it if you're an adult, it's, it's got some good values in there, the characters are fun, uh, the artwork's definitely really good, so, yeah, that's all I have to say about that, but, this is basically Mega Man with a pony aesthetic, if you couldn't already tell with Mega Man over there being Mega Pony. So, we there's actually some pretty cool stuff that we can do in this game, uh, but I'm not going to be showing off all the crap just yet. I'm going to wait till we beat the game, because you have to beat the game to unlock the extras menu. Uh, so I'm not even going to show you what's in there until we beat it. But yeah, for right now, we're just going to start the game, so... And here we have the main six. Uh, just a forewarning, you have to play this game with a keyboard unless you have something like Joy to Key or x Patter. I'm using x Patter to play with my PS3 controller, so if I could I recommend anything is get a controller and get x Patter because this is, this is a Mega Man game. You want to play this with a controller, not a keyboard. But these are the main six. However, they are the robot masters of this game because if you saw in the opening, uh, Discord, who is the bad guy, I suppose, I don't know anything about him because my... My knowledge of the show goes only to the first four episodes, uh, and I have basic knowledge of each of the ponies. But, yeah, our Robot Masters are actually brainwashed versions of the main six, and if, you, if their faces look a little weird to you, it's because that their faces are actually edited pictures of Robot Masters from Mega Man 2. This game is Mega Man 2 and My Little Pony, uh, if they fucked, <laughs> basically. Uh, it's a hybrid. The music is all Mega Man 2 and songs from, like, My Little Pony mixed together to make new tracks. Uh, that's either good or bad, depending on who you are. Uh, I personally find it pretty cute. Ah, pretty cute. You know, it's just, it's a nice way that they went about handling it. Uh, I like how fucking, I like how Rarity looks down here. She's like, what the fuck is that shit? But my favorite has to be fucking Fluttershy. Look at her face. That is the face of a Fluttershy, and if you're a fan of the show, I'm pretty sure you guys know that's exactly what Fluttershy looks like, am I right? But then we have fucking Twilight Sparkle doing whatever the fuck this is. However, I do know the, the order we need to take on, and to be quite frank, Twilight Sparkle is probably the easiest quote-unquote to take on first, so we're going to be taking on Magic Mare. Okie doke. So, as you can see, we're basically just Mega Man as a pony. We can still shoot our pellets, the, the lemons. Uh, instead of shooting it from a buster, we shoot it from our horn because we're a unicorn. Uh, Mega Pony is actually a robot if you read in the opening. Uh, but besides the pony aesthetic, it's basically just Mega Man, just new levels of Mega Man. Uh, the enemies are kind of edited sometimes to look like stuff from the show, I'm assuming. Again, I haven't watched much of the show, but if you're a fan of the show, you'll probably get a kick out of some of the aesthetics, like, uh, Knuckle Joe over here. It's called a Pony Joe, because it's a pony. You know, it's it's just kind of neat. It's cute, really. That's the best word I can use to describe it. But, uh, these owls, I believe, are supposed to be, uh, Twilight's owl. I think she has an owl, right? I don't, I don't know. Again, I don't know jack shit about the show. Unfortunately, I didn't know anything about the show before going into this game. However, you don't really need to know anything about the show to go into this game. If you like Mega Man, it's a Mega Man game. Just treat it as such, you know what I'm saying? But to get this gym, you kind of have to fall a little early. So, you know, be careful with that. Gems are the bolts of this game. You can get bolts to buy stuff with. Uh, uh, so, if I could recommend anything, it's probably collect as many of those gems as you can. Because there is a thing that we're going to be getting in the... Son of a bitch, I was talking and not paying attention. Um... Oh, come on, all the way back. Whatever, all right. Um, with the gems, you actually can buy, like, the Mega Buster, which lets you charge up your shots. Ooh, a life. I don't need that, though, because I have infinite lives. Uh, there is an option to turn on infinite lives in this game, which I'm going to do for the sake of the Let's Play. I'm not trying to do a challenge run. I'm trying to show off the game. I've mentioned that before, and I'm going to mention it again, because that's just how Dan the Man rolls, if you know what I'm saying. I hate you, Knuckle Joe. You were cute the first time, and now you're just a butthole. Because now I actually have to get through you again. Whatever, I don't care. Screw that owl. Owl's a douchebag. Uh, 
Again, just like Mega Man 1 and 2, if you're playing with lives, I'd recommend hurry up and get to the boss fight before dying, and then, you know, use that to your advantage, so then you have enough health to fight the boss with. However, if you turn on infinite lives, you don't really have to worry about that now, do you? But if you're doing some sort of challenge run, or, you know, playing regular Mega Man, because you're not a bitch, or, you know, whatnot, I'm not calling you a bitch if you use infinite lives. Honestly, if... If the only way you can have fun playing this game is with the infinite lives on, by all means do it. Uh, Mega Man games are really fucking difficult, and some people just can't handle how hard they can be. Uh, and then you get frustrated and stop playing, which is kind of shitty because Mega Man games are super fun to play and they're really good. And if you get good at the game, uh, you can play with the infinite lives on and then turn them off to play uh, regular later, like once you get good at the stages. Uh, and that's when the games get really fun, is when you know what you're doing. Uh, here's a little mini-boss. I actually hate this mini-boss, but I think what you really want to do is stay towards the bottom and then shoot at him, but uh, I could be wrong. You could possibly die here, and I might, because I actually hate this mini-boss. I don't know if there's some sort of pattern you're supposed to follow. Oh, that's what it is. You stay over here and shoot at him. Okay, now I'm gonna... I might die. If I die, tell my parents... Oh, no, I didn't die. I was about to say, if, you, if I die, please tell my parents I played a pony game and it killed me. Because, <laughs> you know, that's what everybody wants to tell their parents. Eh, eh, eh. Goddamn Knuckle Joe bastard. If I die here, you respawn at this spot, so... Eh, there we go. I'm probably not going to make it too much farther with this much... Nah, this amount of health. However, we're going to give it our best. We give it 110%. We're like pepperoni. We give it our best. Okay, swap over, boop. Those little things are gems, in case you were curious. Uh, they're supposed to be bolts, but they're not bolts. Uh, if you're familiar with Mega Man, you should be familiar with all the crap. I think you can, no you can't, all right. I'm just gonna try and kill him and maybe get some health. That's a negative, thanks, asshole. So these things are actually new to uh, Mega Pony, is these little teleport things. I don't believe there was a Mega Man game that utilized these. Uh, they're kinda cool. Metal, okay, I thought that metal was gonna kick my ass. It's really butt-clenching. This game, whoever made this knows their fucking Mega Man, like, no kidding. They they kept the level design pretty balls-tastic, you know what I'm saying? Just like this, scary as fuck. But it gets worse, I, I promise you. This game is pretty hard. Level design in this game is top-notch as far as a Mega Man clone goes. Oh god, I can't believe I just took damage right there. I knew what he was going to do, and I still took the damage. Give me some health. Metal. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Metal. If I take one more shot, I'm still going to die. Okay, I need that. Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe, don't be an asshole. There we go. Ta-da! So now that we're at uh, Twilight Sparkle, or the Magic Mare, sorry, we'll respawn right here infinitely because we have infinite lives. Now, that can backfire on you later, so be careful with the infinite lives thing. Uh... If you run out of weapon energy, you can't actually replenish it by dying. So, if you run out of energy with a, a weapon against a specific mare, then you're out of luck because you have to fight them with the Mega Buster. So, you know, be careful. It's a good way to learn how to fight them with the Mega Buster with Infinite Lives on because if you die, you respawn right here. So, you can keep trying to break the uh, boss down and you can learn their patterns and figure out how to fight them. And, you know, that's pretty cool. I should have used that while I was practicing, but I didn't. However, these characters... While some of them are pretty annoying, they have pretty easy patterns to follow, just like any Mega Man boss. However, I actually pretty much hate Twilight, at least at the beginning of the game, because she does this. And I can't exactly pick the pattern down. Like, I haven't figured out the pattern to avoiding the balls the easiest. Uh, so right now I just have the biggest amount of trouble with avoiding them. And it sucks. Uh, and she's kind of annoying. This, it, it's almost impossible to hit her when she's doing the ball thing. This is when you can hit her, when she starts teleporting across the room. She teleports twice and then charge a Mega Buster and then shoots it at you. But I'm just going to die real quick to get my health back because there's no way in hell I was going to be able to take out Twilight with that much amount of health. <sighs> Where other Mega Man games would have an easier person to take on with the Mega Buster, Twilight, while not difficult, is still annoying. See, like, I hate it. I don't... You take little damage from her attacks, though, so if I could recommend anything, don't let her touch you. Just like any other Mega Man game, when the Robot Master touches you, they do a lot of damage, so you kind of want to avoid touching her as much as possible. And then she charges up, and shoot him. 
And there we go. We got two shots in, actually. That's pretty good. Oh, shit. Damn it. I hate you so much. God damn it. Stop it with your fucking magic ball bullshit. And besides her stupid patterns with the balls, she's really just kind of boring. If you don't have her weakness, she's actually weak to Fluttershy's, uh... I don't actually know what it's called. It's called the something stare. But it, it it's... Fluttershy's weapon is actually probably one of my favorite weapons in the game, if only because of how absurd it is. I'll show off what it does later. All right, shooter. Damn it. How do you break this, uh... How do you break her, uh... When she's doing it, how do you make her start teleporting is my fucking question. I hate it! Like, oh, these fucking balls! <laughs> I don't know. The, the best way is to probably jump in the air to make the balls kind of go up so you can at least run away, but I don't know. This kind of, It's kind of an annoying boss fight. This first fight is the only one where we're going to spend so much time because it's the hardest as far as... It's the balls, man. If she had an easier pattern. But I know it's my fault. I know I'm just, like, not doing the pattern right here. Get her, get her, get her. Wait for her to charge her Mega Buster. Why does she have a Mega Buster anyway? I don't think she has that Mega Buster whenever she... You, well, um... So, spoiler! Never mind. <laughs> okay, go. Ah, oh, you bitch! Uh, eh. Twilight, you're my favorite pony. Why are you kicking my ass? Ow, bitch. One. Two. -hoo. Charge it up. Three. Okay. She's being generous. The, my only issue is when she goes to teleporting. I hate her teleport. It's fucking annoying. Oh, crap. And then you get stuck in the wall like that. Okay, she's going back to the teleport thing. Maybe I can pull this out of my ass. Come on. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Good girl. Good girl, Twilight. Oh, crap. Come on. <laughs> Damn it. Got her. And instead of picking up a little power orb... The music is still the same in Mega Man 2 whenever you beat an enemy, but instead of picking up a power orb, you get their crown or whatever, which is from the first episode, I think, if I'm not mistaken, but we got the magic wave. Also, I really love the colors, how he changes into their cutie marks and stuff. It's adorable. But the magic wave is kind of a cool weapon. It, like, shoots in a wave pattern. It's one of the more useful. Uh, let's go check out the shop real quick. So, here we have the shop. Welcome to my humble shop with my low prices. I am no flop but I know that you are on the fly, so what would you like to buy? Uh, she rhymes. She's kind of adorable. She's also in the show, if I'm not mistaken. I, I, I think I've said I'm, I'm not mistaken too much this episode. Extra lives, energy tanks, weapon tank, super tank, spike call, don't know what that actually does, energy balancer, emergency wings, spike guard, the mega friendship buster, and whatever the fuck that is. I'm pretty sure this allows you to play as Mega Man, just in case if you don't like looking at Pony Mega Man for whatever reason, you can play as regular Mega Man. I'm not sure if it changes the... the robot masters but i'm pretty sure they stay as the ponies uh but yeah you can go to the shop and buy you some cool shit the things you'll probably want to buy the most is one the energy balancer maybe i don't know i don't think you actually need it all that much i beat the game without it uh energy tanks are definitely super helpful uh the friendship buster of course is going to be the first thing we're going for because it's really useful uh and that's pretty much about it everything else is kind of just there <laughs> but yeah let's exit the shop i think we have time for one more if ever more gems appear, come back and spend them here. Okay, so we're gonna save, take over slot one. Okay, and then we're just gonna go back to stage select. So, we beat Magic Mare, who is Twilight, and then the w pony who's weak to hers is Applejack. So we're going to Honest Mare. Okay, and AJ's stage is an apple farm or whatever, just like in the show. I think she they, they have an apple farm, right? Uh, this level looks really cool. Uh, a bunch of the aesthetics are actually taken from, like, Mega Man 2. Like, I think the ground is Woodman stage, if I'm not mistaken. I said that again. Damn it. But this level is pretty cool. These enemies are actually the tigers from Mega Man 2. They shoot something and then they hop. Uh, they're not that hard to deal with. Uh, they have a lot of health, though, so, you know, be careful. If you just unload your Mega Buster on them, that sounded gross. <laughs> it's really easy to take them out. And if you need to jump over them or whatever, they do hop directly over you, so you have plenty of time to fuck them up. But into the barn we go. Like, look at that. Look at all the detail they put into this game. Like, they didn't have to. This is a fan game. 
it's just, ugh, I love it. I love it when people put so much time and effort into things. Even if they don't have to, they do it specifically to make it a better product. So, I appreciate you guys. Guys who made this game, I love you. You are the best. All right. Aside from the fact that I do like My Little Pony as well, the fact that I get a new Mega Man game to play is simply amazing. And I do not, I would not share it, or I wouldn't give it up for anything in the world, is what I'm looking for, right? All right, I think, yep, there we go. If you get at the right angle, you can actually start shooting that guy. You can farm this guy if you want. I don't recommend it because there's really no need. I don't think they'll drop anything useful either. Get my health back, thank you. Hello, wolf douche. He'll hop over and then spam him. If you just keep mashing the attack button, I kind of wish there was a turbo button, but if you just keep mashing the attack button, killing those wolves is not that bad. Gets his health back though, that kind of sucks. These apple guys are kind of jerks. Stop dropping apples on me. Ooh, I thought that was going to knock me into that hole, baby. Not today, Zerg. Not... <sighs> Fuck you. Fuck you, apple bat. Is that a bat? I don't even know what that is, actually. God, it's so hard to pay attention to everything at once. Oh, baby. I'm going to get hit by an apple and die. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to get to this. But actually, I think we actually respawn here, so this is good. This is a good where we're at. Spam jump. And I'm dead. Welcome to dying. Not really. You don't want to die. Don't die, kids. Dying is bad for your health. Choo -choo 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 -choo. I'm just going to kill him right here. Oh, he hit me twice, asshole. There we go. Take care of those Knuckle Joes like they ain't no thang, baby. Woo! Oh, yeah, this is what the Twilight looks like. <laughs> I know they showed it off already, but I figured. Uh, the cool thing about this game is they also use the, uh, the whole principle of using... L and R to switch your weapons, which is super helpful. Shoot that laser at me, you jerk. You jerk. You're a jerk ass. These guys walk right by him. Just keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop believing. Show them what ponies believe in. What the hell? What the? Oh, God. Why is touching that stick to make that happen? Okay. Ooh. Nice. Health up. Oh, bitch. Uh, run. <laughs> Same thing here, just let him jump over you and get out of there. Whoop. More Pony Joes. Everybody loves Pony Joe. He's everybody's favorite. All right, just inch your way up. No, never mind. Don't, don't do what I say. I am bad at video games, and I'm telling you to walk to your death eventually. Fucking hell. There we go. Dealing with them like a bounce. Screw you, Metool, you butthole. There we go. Boop, boop. I love the jumping animation. Whee! <laughs> I just really love this game. Aesthetically, it's beautiful. Now, if they made like a Mega Man... Which one was for the Super Nintendo? Was that 7? If they made a Mega Man 7-esque uh, pony game, I would shit myself. The graphics would be beautiful. They'd have to find someone to do really good sprite artwork, though. Because if not, they're going to have an inferior product. Just just shoot, just shoot. No, wait, but wait. Another life that I do not need. Thank you, useless. But we're coming up to AJ. I'm not... I think what I'm going to do is when I show off the ponies, the first fight, I'm just going to die because I have infinite lives. And I'm going to show off what their patterns are just so I don't kill them too fast with the, the weapon they're weak to. And here we have AJ. Her strategy is she jumps over you and then goes to punch you. All you really have to do is when she's about to punch, jump. That's it. Whoop. And her, only her head is... Uh, applicable to damage, so, you know, be careful with that. Alright, alright, fucking, damn it. Alright, and then once she sucks all the apples in, she shoots them out, and then she goes back to her previous pattern of punching, but that's all that AJ does. So with that said, I'm gonna use Twilight Sparkle's weapon to kick her ass now. Sorry, AJ, you're my second favorite, but you gotta go. Strange how that works, how my two favorite ponies are actually the first people I fight. Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> eh. It's actually really easy to hit her with Twilight's weapon because of the arc it has. And then when she starts doing that, just keep shooting her. And... You got the Apple Buckler. This is actually, unfortunately, one of the more useless weapons you get. You summon an apple and you can kick it. Or you can shoot it. Whatever. 
kind of annoying, really, if anything else. Uh, we don't have enough gems, so I think I'm going to go grinding for gems after I uh, end this episode, which is right now, because that is all the time we have for this one. A hero's work is never done. Join me again next time as we continue to tackle Mega Pony. Later days, everybody.